Hello, this video explains how programming tests work on Equip. This is how the candidate will see the problem. Uh, they will see the problem statement on the left. They will see a programming editor in the center, and then they will see the outputs at the bottom. Um, the problem statement, here we have a demo problem. The problem is basically saying, uh, given a string s, you must return the first character of the string, right? And so, for example, if the input is aaa, you must extract the first character a, and if it's bc, you must extract b. Right? And the candidate sees the problem. Of course, the real, in the real world, they have much more complicated problems. And then they can choose amongst languages that you have enabled. Right? So let's say you've enabled all these languages, and they decide to write it in Python. They attempt the problem. Let's say they write some code, and they try to see if it works. So they run the tests to see if it works. In this case, they're returning the entire string. The string is S. They're returning the string. So if the input is AAA, they're, you will see that the output is AAA, because that's the code that they have written. Right? The expected output is, of course, A, because it must only be the first character. So our system is telling the candidate that this doesn't work. The code doesn't work. And so then they correct the code, and then they run the test again. So in this case, I know that, because I know Python, I know this is the right answer. It is extracting the first character. And you will see that the output matches. So it returns A, it returns B, as expected. So now the candidate is confident that um, the code they've written is correct, and they can submit the code. When they submit the code in the back end, we run this code against other test cases that they don't see. So for example, it could be x, y, z. And the expected out output then should be x. And when we run the code against x, y, z, if we get x, they get points. If we don't get x, they do not get points. Right? So in this way, we are automatically evaluating candidates' code without actually having to look at each line of code. Because of course, everyone has different approaches to problems. So neither you nor uh, our system has to look at each code, right? The candidate tests the code, submits it, and we're automatically evaluating the code. I'm just gonna switch into the recruiter view to see the results. So this is how you would see the results. All the test cases will be shown, and both the input, the expected output, and also the, you know, the generated output will be shown here. The exact code that they wrote will be shown. You'll be able to see how much time they took, doctoring score, and so on. Uh, this is a demo, but in in the real life scenario, you'll actually be able to edit the points as well, right? So if this is here, 100%, you can change the test score as well. So this is how you would see the results for each candidate, right? So if you think that you want to award partial points, you can do that as well. But by default, this is automatically evaluated. And also, as a recruiter, you do not have to create the content. We have a large database of questions, right? So once you've created an account and you want to add a question, you can choose the difficulty level, uh, you can choose the different languages that you want enabled, and our question bank will show you all the questions that are available with those filters, and you can just apply them, right? So in this way, we make it very easy for you to choose a question, and we select questions by default. The candidate can then attempt the question within a time limit, and once they submit it, the code is automatically evaluated, and you'll be able to see a summary of the results as well as the exact code that they wrote.